Good afternoon. At 7:54, 7:54 this afternoon, station 17, Houston Fire, heard a loud explosion. Immediately, 911 was lighting up, and uh, obviously, large explosion, fireball out of the air, and Houston's first responders went into action. The residents are secure and safe, but we have a terrible accident scene. Multiple fatalities, tower, helicopter destroyed, helicopter apparently left Ellington, not certain its destination, and I'm going to be very cautious in my description of facts and details. But what I want to emphasize is the area is secure, multiple agencies. Again, great collaboration between the federal government and all HBD, Houston Fire, all of our emergency responders are doing their job tonight. So let me just emphasize that the scene is secure, multiple fatalities, apparently there's a child, and it's a horrible thing to witness. But we need to let Houstonians know that the first responders, Houston Fire, literally a block away where the first responders knew they had a tragic scene on their hands. And now the DPS, the federal government, Houston Fire Police are doing their job. And I will yield at this time to the fire chief and thank him and his rank and file for their quick response to secure the area. There is some outage of power to residents near the scene. We are fortunate that it wasn't worse in terms that there's a butane tank, gas tank near the crash scene. So we're concerned. We need to keep the family of the victims in our prayers and uh, be glad we live in a great city that comes together during tragic times like this. Chief Diaz, would you please uh, describe your job in the rank and file? Yeah. Hello, Chief Munoz, uh, Houston Fire Department. As the mayor mentioned, there was a helicopter uh, accident today involving one of the towers. Station 17 was on scene with a minute, within minutes with our first responders. At the current time, we do have F FAA, NTSB, along with DPS, Houston Fire Department, uh, as well as Houston Police Department, uh, doing part of the investigation. As the mayor mentioned, great collaboration with everyone. But most importantly, our prayers are with the family, and as I mentioned before, this is strictly um, what we're doing is a preliminary investigation, so further details to come. Thank you. Good evening. Uh, I'm Chief Diaz with the Houston Police Department. Uh, as the mayor and the fire chief have already stated, uh, this is a tragic event tonight. Uh, it's a tragic loss of life. Uh, it's an accident. We know it's a helicopter coming out of Ellington Field, what we believe now. And we know that uh, fire and PD responded quickly to the event. I, I will let the community know that when daylight comes, if you do see components of the of the aircraft and whatnot, make sure that you don't touch it. Call 911. Let us know where it is if you see it in the community, because it'll be a, a large investigation because of the expanse of the accident. So make sure that if you actually see something on the ground that you notify either fire or, or dial, dial the police department so that we can make sure and come out and recover it. But uh, again, I, I, my, my, my prayers are with the family of the people in the helicopter. And uh, I want to thank DPS, NTSB, everybody that's here helping us tonight. Uh, and we're ready to take any questions. Thomas, any questions? We'll do that. We'll do that after this. Quick any questions? Did you say multiple fatalities, including a child? That was that's what's been reported. Yes, sir. Multiple fatalities, including including a child. We don't know the age ranges yet, but uh, th that we are pretty sure. Were they all from the helicopter? That is correct. Yes. Was it a personal helicopter or a work helicopter? It is going to be a private aircraft. Private. Right. Is it too early to say? Can you estimate how many people were on board? Uh, we're going to estimate right now what we know is facts. We're not estimating that there were four people in, in the helicopter. There was an R-44 helicopter. 
how long, how low was it flying when it crashed? I won't, I won't estimate on that. I'm hearing reports that there was another R-44 in the general vicinity at the time of the crash. Do we have any information about that? We do not, not at this time. The preliminary information that we're getting is came out of Ellington Field, and it, it either struck the cable or actually struck up the tower. Was there anyone on the ground at the site of the tower at the time this crash happened? As far as we know at the moment, there was no one on the ground. Chief, we know that this is a developing situation, that there's a lot of information that right. needs to be gone through. Will updates be provided through the course of the night here on scene? There will be, yes, sir. I also want to mention, just to make sure that the only area of impact is involving the tower. Our current just walked through in the area, no structures, you know, residents were damaged as a result. It was just that one tower. Just want to make that sure. Can you estimate, can you estimate how large the area of the fire was? How big? Yeah, we're looking at, you look at, uh, you know, just, just by night, you know, we've been seeing everything. We got a significant amount, you know, we're looking at a good two to three blocks, but that was a big area of land. Luckily, there was no residence, but it was near residence, but it's, it's pretty sick from what I saw, what we see, but preliminary investigations do show, you know, a good 100 to 200 yards, maybe more, of just the grass, which was, in the, you know, guided by the fuel and the, and the flames, so. Chief, is there any threat to the community with the fumes and any gases released? Not right the now. We've been getting those monitors at no man. Yeah. Everything's been extinguished. We had one person saying he found remains. Is that something people might see? In the if, if we do see that, we do have our, as I mentioned, our investigators, NTSB. We're currently working on giving, getting some more support systems. But if you do see that, please leave the area alone and report it to us. There'll be some, some a lot of presence out here, police presence. Identify that area so we can do that. How difficult is it? How difficult is it? investigation will be just if there's a lot of wreckage out there how, how hard is this going to be well i mean it's hard to say but like i said we do have the experts on the field ntsv faa dps that'll be doing a thorough job so it's very difficult to say i will add if i may that we have not made notification to anyone so please in your reporting until we make those notifications to the families uh that we that we that we report vaguely please do you know if the pilot filed a flight plan before he took off? That, that would, that'll be a question for the FAA, so they're working through those processes. Hey, Mayor, we've got a lot of resources from a lot of different places operating in Unified Command here. Talk about the response. Talk about how heavy it is and how fast it was. It was in real time. We got a fire station, 17, one of our major stations a block away. They heard the explosion and responded. First ones on the scene for Houston fire to secure the area, make sure considerations about electricity, gas, and other uh, provisions were taken care of. So, as I said, I assure the public that the first responders, the professional first responders, have the scene secure, the residents are safe, and this will be an ongoing investigation for the next several days. I would mention to you the tower looked like to me, as a layman, that it imploded uh, down. So I don't know what the professionals will say, but it was a fairly specific site. And uh, we are concerned about uh, remains to be done respectfully, but also uh, protect the public. And there is, it is surrounded by residences, and that's where we were very fortunate that it didn't uh, topple in one direction or another, and the fireball pretty much was isolated. But uh, I can't begin to tell you the scientific investigation that's going on. The drones are in the air, 3D, 3D photos of the site. So everything that possibly could be done by any department anywhere in the United States is being done tonight. Immediate response, professionalism. The firemen out of Station 17, they don't worry about their safety. They ran specifically to the fireball. The site is secure. I'll be glad to yield to our partner with the DPS who has experience on these investigations, but 
The collaboration is what impresses me the most, that everybody has a specific job, but they're not in silos. They're down there, a joint effort to protect the public and secure the site. Sergeant, I yield to you. All right. Thank you very much. We're pleased to be able to assist in this. Uh, typically, when we have a plane crash that occurs outside the city limit, this would occur inside the city limit, so we're able to assist with the investigation once again. The bodies have not been identified as of yet, so we have not, have not made uh, death notification as of yet. But uh, we keep our thoughts and prayers for the family. It is a, a pretty, pretty hard scene to, to look at, and I, I wish the family uh, the best that they, they make plans to uh, uh, move to uh, uh, move these folks to a final place of rest. We're in a very proud Hispanic community. I'm going to ask Chief Munoz to come translate for us so all Houstonians, certainly these neighbors, are fully aware of the circumstances and the work that's being done. Chief Munoz. Gracias. Como está diciendo ahora, como a las 7.54 la tarde, la tarde, la noche, hubo un accidente con un helicóptero que le pegó una un tower, como se dice, una antena de radio, del radio, y ahorita lo, la, los investigadores, la investigación dice que tienen casi cuatro, uh, cuatro personas que fallecieron. Ahorita estamos investigando con todas las agencias federales, también para agarrar la información que uno necesita por detrás de esta investigación. Ahorita le quiero pasar al jefe Díaz también en la oportunidad que diga el departamento de policía. Buenas noches. Preguntas, dígame. Hoy como a las 7, 54. 54, tuvimos un reporte de un helicóptero que le pegó a una antena de radio aquí en la, en la cuadra 300 de la, de, la, de la N Street, está cerquita de la Navigation. Durante el accidente fallecieron cuatro personas en una quemazón le pegaron a la antena rápidamente y estamos aquí investigando los, los bomberos de, de, de la estación 17 respondieron en segundos porque huyeron la explosión y llegaron ahí, apagaron la lumbre el área todavía está activa miembros de la FAA están haciendo la investigación lo estamos nosotros manteniendo alrededor del, 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 del accidente el espacio es como unas uh, dos o tres cuadras, o es, un, es un espacio grande. Uh, les, 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 les pido a la comunidad si, si encuentran pedazos del helicóptero que por favor lo reporten, que lo tapen, que lo reporten. Hasta ahorita no ha, hemos hecho el reporte a los familiares, o les pido que tengan un poquito de, de, de piedad con las, con, la, con las familias de las víctimas. Si ven algo en el área, por favor que llamen a 91 o al departamento de policía de Houston a reportarlos para nosotros venir a, a investigar la, el área. Pero ahorita todo está, están todos con calma, no hay juego, no hay nada ahorita, ya está todo uh, organizado. Estamos esperando a la FAA que haga la investigación. ¿Y quiénes están entre las víctimas? ¿Sabemos qué menores de Todavía no sabemos los nombres de las víctimas, tenemos reportes que una de las personas era una persona menor de edad. Si me permite, también es muy importante que, se, que, la, que todos saben que ni un edificio de, o casa estaba impactado por el accidente. También como dijo el jefe Díaz, es muy importante si miran un, este, un pedazo de, de, del accidente o, o de un, un parte humano, que por favor no lo tochen, no dejen nada, va a haber oficiales aquí entre la noche y el día, cuando ya hasta que se termine la investigación. Los avisa por favor, es muy importante. Esperan que sea una investigación larga, días, semanas. Es difícil para ir, pero va a ser días. Va a ser, sí, va a ser días. Sí, es lo que tenemos. Gracias. Any other questions? Did it, the helicopter took hit the tower or one of the wires that. Right now it's up in the air. We don't, we don't know uh, the facts yet. Possibly both. Yeah. Any other questions? Any questions? No? Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for coming out and reporting the facts.
reporting live here with the hood news man prayers going up as you guys heard there was a child there's a child that was also on that helicopter prayers going up my goodness friends i did i wasn't expecting that This is so sad, man. We've got DPS out here. We got the chief. We got the fire chief. We got our HPD chief. Everybody, the mayor. Everybody's here. Everybody. Just unbelievable, friends. We got here when when people were still in the field. Earlier, we we did a Facebook Live video, and we were here when the Good Samaritans were, you know, uh, in the field, and and they saw they saw a lot of debris. The, the, the crash that happened somewhere over here. I'm, I'm, let me show you all the, the tower. This tower that the helicopter crashed into. Hold on, friends. Hold on. Let me, let me cut this off real quick. All right. Hold on. I got some images for y'all. This is the tower. I'm standing on this corner. Look, I'm standing right here. Y'all see that tower? That is the tower that the helicopter crashed into. You see right here? That's where we're at. And we also have a group of peeps also uh, concerned because uh, they're afraid that their loved one might have, you know, been on that helicopter. I spoke to a group right now. They're inquiring. They, they are here on the side and, and they were wanting to know if it's their loved one. We don't have any confirmation of who all who these people were, but we do have uh, people checking on loved ones to see if they were in this crash. Thank you, Vanessa. Let me go check, friend. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, everybody in the area, check. If you live in this area, check your cameras, friends. We got peeps reaching out. I haven't checked all my messages. Hold on. Let me. Vanessa just reached out. Hold on. Oh my God, friend, send it to me. Oh my God, one of our peeps uh, may have video of the crash too. So all that will definitely uh, give more information on to what happened. I'm sure they're, they're, they're needing all that information. So yeah, we're still out here, friends. A lot of media, there goes the chief. Look at the, there's a family right there asking about their loved one. They're inquiring, they have not had uh, any news their, their loved one doesn't answer the phone i spoke to them they follow the hood news and they were telling me how uh how they're concerned their their loved one has not picked up the phone mm -mm. we got a great mayor i gotta tell y'all look at the mayor man he he just he came straight out of his house shout out to the mayor shout out to everybody here man all the authorities So, yeah, there's a family walking away, not knowing, you know, they still don't have any word, y'all. Pray for them. I pray it's not their loved one. And and I don't know how they found out, but they said that a child was one of the, the people on board on this on this helicopter. I, I had to do a double take. And they said, yes, you know, the, the first time it was said, I didn't. I was in shock. And then the second time I understood what they were saying. Four, four fatalities, you guys. 
This is Grizzy reporting live here with the Hood News. I'm right here off of Ennis and Inkoki. I, I don't know how to say. Yeah. Man, shout out to our first responders here. And uh, shout out to our chief, our fire chief. Shout out to our HPD chief, Noe Diaz. They're starting to clear. Let me see once that fire truck leaves. Let's see what's, what we can see back there. Look, friends, look. Give me some thumbs up if you're able to hear and see. This is Grizzy reporting live here in Second Ward. That's Third Ward, uh, Third Ward Fire Department. Fire Station 25. This is 2nd Ward, Fire Station 17. Now it's going in. The owner to this, uh, this place it, uh, arrived, he was here. The owner came to, from this building and, and luckily the helicopter did not crash. There's a lot of acid, a lot of uh, material here that is stored here. Thank God that that wasn't compromised. And as you guys see the fire stations right around the corner. So that was like their immediate quick response. Fire Station 17 is right here on the same street I'm standing on. So yeah, friends. Y'all be safe. Prayers going up, man. Prayers. Shout out to all our reporters out here too. Some of the reporters I saw from um, from the earlier shooting over there in the southeast, and a woman got shot in the Ramada Hotel, friends. Uh, a woman got shot somewhere off of uh, 59 Fondren, and I don't think she survived. So that's another situation that was happening too around the time this was happening so many questions so many questions hold on let me check the messenger hold on friends Here's a video that was sent to me just a while ago. Let me check. Let me let me check this video real quick. Let me. I'm skimming it over real quick just to make sure there's nothing. Uh, oh my God. Okay. You don't see the actual impact. 
but you see everything light up hold on i'm gonna show y'all this was uh caught on somebody's surveillance camera look Oh my goodness. And then you see people running outside. What happened? Everybody's coming outside to see what happened. Oh no. Oh no, thank you friend. That is so scary. I can share now uh, about this helicopter. I, I can now. I couldn't earlier. This is this is the, the helicopter I'm told. A bunch of hood news peeps started sending this to me. Preliminary info is that it was four people on board. Shout out to all our camera guys and girls and our reporters. Shout out to our news reporters, man. Now I'm watching the, the sky, friends. Look, there's a, I think that's HPD helicopter right there. That's Fox. The FAA is out here. Everybody's out here. Good. Look at his jacket. Another helicopter. Possibly the same one, I don't know. Man, friends, but they're all the way down there, look. All right, well, I'm gonna sign out. It's your girl Grizzy reporting live here from Second Ward. Let me let me pan out and show you guys what the scene is looking like overall, all around. Very loud machinery, engines. They've got a. Hey, how you doing? They've got the command, like a command post. a lot of uh, houses and this is a residential and uh you know a lot of restaurants out here too look at the scene friends oh my gosh i think i'm going deaf from all the the the, the sounds of the the tr big trucks okay look there goes a the helicopter right there oh my goodness i, I want to walk back down the street where we did the live at the beginning remember when i was out in that field a lot of good samaritans were walking in the field because they saw the fire so everybody was looking and trying to help uh, and and that's when they came across that there was a lot of debris they were a lot of people were rattled they saw debris they some people described seeing limbs you know like an arm out there and i'm gonna ask everybody if you have that in your phones throw it away you don't, you guys don't need to have that throw it away friends 
Look at the... Yeah, everywhere. Please don't post that on your social media. Please. If you have that, man... Please, please get rid of it. It's not, it's not, I don't know what the, what you get out of that, but that's somebody's loved one. I saw, I saw, I saw videos already because people have been sending me stuff and, and I don't want that. Oh, they already closed it off, man. I was over here on Middle Street earlier. Yeah, it's already been blocked off, you guys. This is when we first arrived, when I first arrived. This is Fire Station 17. Okay, so they were right right here. They were quick. They heard the explosion. Grizzy with the hood news. This is where they were at. So this is... I'm going to show you all the field where everybody had been standing. And see, the officers ran. In the video where we were at, on the live video, a lot of officers were running. I think this is the perimeter they set. Okay, so it's going to be closed off right here. Oh, thank you, friend. Y'all be safe. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, dude. Man. See, oh, they got it taped up? Yeah, they got it taped. We can't walk over here. All right, friends, it's going to be a no, a no, a no go. Yeah, they're, they're taping it. This is a perimeter. Oh, yeah, friends, security guards can't stand me. It's weird, right? Yeah, I agree. I agree with Rebecca. Hold on, friends. They're they're on taping everything now. There you go. Sorry about that. a lot of helicopter mo movement up here now crazy stuff you know. so yeah the, the helicopter exploded and you know people went to go look i mean people ran across this field i'm gonna try to show y'all the field so this is what this is uh yeah when we first arrived everybody was running out of this field because uh, the officers were telling everybody to vacate and clear out and so they were running with flashlights one thing they said during this live video right now during the the briefing they said if you see anything don't touch it call hpd call the police it like I re i'm gonna repeat one more time if you see anything out here pertaining to that crash leave it there do not touch it because there were parts out here, parts from the helicopter. There were, and it's been closed off right now. But if you happen to see stuff out here, like maybe like over here somewhere, it's going to be closed off. But if you happen to find anything on your rooftop, on your terrace, on your balcony, call authorities. They need that. That's evidence. Look, they're gloving up. They're, they're, Friends, I promise you there were there were parts out here. Human. Prayers for everything these people have to see out here.
Look at the helicopters. They're looking. Oh, my God. You see the parts there? Where? Right there. Parts right there. Right behind the truck. This one? Yeah, the yellow one. That's part of it. Oh, okay. I'm being told that this might be a part of the helicopter yeah, as well. Is. Okay. And there's, a there's another piece of metal on the side of it. Oh, right okay. Yeah, friends. Dang, they won't be able to get their cars. <laughs> they won't be able to get their cars. Oh, okay, they're they're retrieving stuff from people's cars. That's so nice of them, man. Because, you know, the cars can't be moved because there's evidence here. Oh, man. So now crime scene folks have to process that. Look, friends, there goes the antenna over there. Look, can y'all see? That's the antenna. Can y'all see that? Can can you can you guys see like where the red tape is? That's where the anten antenna came crashing down. Oh my goodness! So there are drones, friends. Some of these are drones, as you guys see. These are drones right here, but there is also a helicopter flying over the area. But yeah, they they are looking. Look look look. They're looking through the field. You see the how it's illuminated? Look, friends. So, yeah, earlier when I first arrived, there were a ton of people, even somebody in a wheelchair, they were coming back from after they witnessed the, the, the explosion, this crash. A uh, helicopter earlier this evening around 7.40, I think is what they said, somewhere uh, later in the 7 o'clock hour, Right before eight o'clock, somebody uh, the the helicopter crashed into an antenna. Some kind of big. Uh... Oh my God! What is that? A tower. And so yeah, this is the this is where a lot of the videos that we posted were recorded from right here. Yeah, I'm so sorry that you guys have to experience this here, man. So I'm so saddened. And there was a child on that helicopter, man. So yeah, that's a piece of the helicopter, according to one of our peeps right there. That's a piece of debris. So it is very important that if you find anything, because you know they have everything. Look, they've got everything taped all around. A whole perimeter has been set around this neighborhood. And it's very critical that if you find anything, notify authorities. They they need that. Don't touch it. Just let them come and get it. Mm. Mm. Three adults, one minor is what I was told. Yeah, be careful with any down wires, but it's all it's all closed off, so nobody's going to touch anything. They can't even get to their cars. That's why the officers were nice enough to go get their items for them. The the officers were retrieving things for the the people. That was really nice of them. Look, you can see them walking through the Look, friends. Happening now in Houston, Texas here in second ward also known as Edo investigation underway following a fatal helicopter crash a lot of questions not not a whole bunch of answers right now at this time but we do know that authorities are here with the FAA uh, we've got the DPS here we've got HPD out here we got our chief from the Houston Police Department we have our mayor out here we got the uh precinct six deputies out here harris county sheriff's office i've seen some deputies here um the the houston fire department chief is out here lots of firefighters and first responders we had ems's on standby unfortunately nobody was taken to the hospital it's believed that everybody passed away so just sad
Now we have drones in the sky. We do have a helicopter flying over the area. And lots of drones. We've got two drones, one over there, one over there. And they are investigating that field down uh, is where the helicopter uh, came down. Denise says, this is part of second war uh, known as Little Mexico. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I remember when I first came here, this is where we saw a lot. So a lot of the, the videos that we posted earlier that you guys submit, uh, sent in were recorded from this angle. Sorry, may I be careful? Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Hold on, let me get out of the way. Hold on, friends. Hold on. Hey, what's up with it, Hoodies peeps? So the, the investigation continues into the night. They're going to be out here, friends, for a long time. By tomorrow, I don't know if they'll clear out right away. But if you happen to find anything on your home, I mean, there could be anything on the rooftops. Just, you know, check your cameras, people. You know, be vigilant for any little pieces. Like, even if you don't think it came off a helicopter, I would have never thought that that came off a helicopter. Look, that's a piece of the helicopter right there. So even if you don't, if you're not sure, just let authorities know. Let somebody else handle it. Don't touch it. All right, I'm about to dip out. You guys be safe. Please be advised. It's your girl, Grizzy. Man, just walk me to my car, y'all. I'm going to get back to my car. Are we still there? Give me some thumbs up. These drones are from the police. These drones are with the FAA. These drones are our government. This isn't like some idiot with a drone. No, sir. Whoever said that, these are authorized drones right now. He even said it in the video. Ooh. These are authorized by the U.S. government, by the people, the officials, the city, whoever's doing all this out here. Man, peeps gave me water right now. Y'all be safe. Shout out to HPD. We have two drones out there right now, along with a helicopter. Oh, yeah, you're welcome, friends, man. It just sucks, man. Just pray. Just pray for these people. As soon as I get more information, as soon as I get more info, I'll be updating. You guys know. I don't think I'm going to cover any more news tonight. I think I'm going to go home so I can process this experience, too, because it's not, it's not, um, it's a very sad one. Look, look, look. You see how the helicopter's shining down everywhere? Because there could be something anywhere. They're, they're, they're putting the lights over the rooftops. Look. Hey. Bye, ladies. Have a good night. Yeah, friends, that's it for me. If I do go anywhere, it's going to be because it's something major, like major, major, major. Oof. 
But I think I'm going to go home and hug my dogs, dude. This is, this is sad. Loss of life. Hey, friend. There's Zach Attack over there. All right. There's the Hood Newsmobile. I'm so I'm just sad, y'all. The DPS, they're gonna they're gonna have this whole area shut down, friends. And if like I said, if you see any debris, call authorities, call 911. I think that's what he said. I don't know. But if you see anything like anything on your roof and your sidewalk, now tomorrow when there's more light, when the crack of dawn, you know, hits and that sun comes out, because it will, you know, just do a double take even if you don't think it came off a helicopter if it's if it wasn't in your yard the the day before call authorities man especially if you live out here off of this area behind navigation bye friend okay, thank you you too nice to see you too yeah i think i'm gonna call it a night already it's been a long day yeah check your cameras peeps check your cameras and uh, if you missed what what happened, let me show y'all. Cause some, some we got different peeps right now watching this. This is what happened tonight. Mm -hmm. God bless y'all. Love y'all. Have a good night and and pray. Let's let's just you know we're Houston, we're a big city. Let's pray. Let's pray for these people tonight. That little kid. That little kid, man. Damn. Reporting live is your girl Grizzy. Uh back to you, friends. Y'all be safe, okay? Bye.